Hello everybody, this is Vertical Sandwich, and welcome to my new Let's Play. This is Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. Not to be confused with Crash Bandicoot 2, the PlayStation game, which is like Cortez Strikes Back. Um, oh wait, no, this. Yeah. No, I don't know, this is... Right, yeah, this is Grace Bandicoot the Wrath of Cortex. I can see it up there. So we're going to name ourselves Sandwich because I have a practice file and it's named Vertical. So, uh, this will be the Sandwich file. And this is the most obnoxious loading screen you'll ever see in your life. Um, I'm not going to show it every time it shows, but it shows every time you choose a level. Every time you go to somewhere, it, and I think every time you exit a level, you see this loading screen. Except usually it has Crash Falling in the middle of it. I'll show it one more time so you can see Crash Falling. But other than that, I'm not going to show it because... Uh, or I'll just cut the very beginning and the very end so it just jumps right through it really quick. So that you see it was there. Uh, because it's obnoxious. It's really obnoxious. I like this game. Um, actually... The reason I'm LPing this, um, well, who needs a reason to LP stuff, but, uh, somebody actually recently gave me all the Crash Bandicoot games except Warped, and Warped is the one that I've played the most. The, oh, actually, it's the only one I've ever played. But, um, this one and Crash Bandicoot 2 are very much like Warped, they have the exact same setup. So, uh, and these are our bad guys. Uka Uka is, uh, the evil bad mask, and that's Dr. Cortex. And they hate Crash Bandicoot because they're always trying to take over or destroy the world. And uh, and Crash Bandicoot is a brainless orange marsupial who uh, gets in their way every time. And this is Peter Lorre. It's not really Peter Lorre, but this is the way Peter Lorre. I mean, it, this is obviously this is um, uh, that kind of impression is based on Peter Lorre, who. I, actually, the only movie... I've, I've seen a lot of movies, and I, I'm a big fan of classic movies, and I'm not really familiar with Peter Lurie's work, but he's in Casablanca, and he's very... He just stands out like a sore thumb in Casablanca. Like, everybody's all upright and tall and stuff, and he's a freak. Um, anyway. Okay, so Dr. Cortez has this super secret crazy weapon that... Uh, he's going to power with the elements, which are a series of other, they're other evil masks. Um, there you go. So anyway, at some point I'll probably be doing other Crash Bandicoot games as well, I mean like way in the future, but like, uh, because I, you know, I like them. And, and, I should say that Crash Bandicoot is kind of PlayStation's answer to, like, you know, um, Sonic the Hedgehog and Mario, which are, you know, huge franchises, obviously, in these other game systems. And, uh, you'll see some similarities. I mean, there's, uh, you know, instead of collecting coins, he collects, uh, you know, or rings, he collects, uh, I don't know, they look the fruit. They look like, I don't, they look like peaches to me. And, uh, but there are, you know, there are question mark boxes, so apparently Nintendo did not have a, did not have a copyright on the idea of question mark boxes. So, but they're crates. They're not, you know. So Crash is, uh, Crash doesn't talk, by the way. Um. And, uh, What's happening? I don't know what that little tiger's name is, but it's Crash's sister's ride. You'll... We'll have some, we'll probably have some levels in this game. I'm not sure, I haven't played all the way through it yet in, on my practice file. Um, but we'll have some games where we do kind of this water running like this, and uh, there'll probably be games where we ride the tiger. At least there were in war. So, like, now all the elementals are, you know, rising up and uh, doing crazy Everyone stuff like causing right. thunderstorms it appears and tidal that my waves. Evil and twin brother Uko is up to his no good tricks again. I must find out what he is planning. I'll meet up with you later. Okay. So, and the, uh, and Crash's mask has always sounded to me like it's, it's James Earl Jones. Uh, hello. It's a very good kind of, oh, well, here we you go. You have gotten my attention, Uka Uka. What kind of diabolical scheme do you and Dr. Cortex have planned this time? No schemes. Just some old familiar faces dropping by for a visit. <laughs> oh, no. No, not the elementals. Uka. No, not Why the elementals. Don't you know what happened the last time they were free? So they were responsible for a few earthquakes, floods, and that little ice yeah. age a couple of centuries back. You that little ice age a couple of centuries back. You 
cannot restrain them. That ice age was like a hundred centuries back. Far too dangerous. This could spell but whatever, I mean, this is obviously a video game world with video game logic, because I mean, you know. And Aku Aku is obviously the name of Crash Bandicoot's mask. I didn't actually know it until I really listened to that. So, uh... uh and Aku Aku is, uh... I don't know how to explain it, but if you've never played this game before, uh... You find crates with Aku Aku in it, and he'll take a hit for you. So, um, and you can get up to three of them. When you get three of them, you become invincible. It's kind of like a star in Mario or something. It is just so, as I feared. Uka, it's Uka, just as Dr. he feared. Have freed a group of okay. Destructive masks known as the elementals. And so the only way to the way put these to masks back is to collect power crystals, which this game is always about collecting power crystals. Always power crystals. The only um, way to stop these are really, I mean, we're, you know, we're seven games into the franchise the or something that we're, we're starting at crystals. with this PlayStation Each 2 game before, can be returned you know, um, to their hibernation state with and, uh, of five so anybody who's played these quickly. is actually really from, is Coco. kind of, you know, what is the status of the new blandly familiar. I mean, you just go, ah, oh, power crystals. Again. I got finished. it. A few little adjustments so, um, there and, it'll be ready to go. and these well, are not kind done, of standard. Go, go. Like, actually, this like the first Crash the Bandicoot and the latest one I own are both kind we of freeform, you know, linear platforming games. But, like, this one actually is like a level by level kind of main base. I don't know how to describe it, but uh, this one, this one is not. The middle, a bunch of the middle ones are not. They're all these where you start at like a central base and then you can enter levels and then you come back to the base and you enter more levels everything is accessible from the base and that's the way this is that's the way warp was that's the way crash bandicoot 2 is at least i i don't know i've only played a little crash bandicoot 2 so i could be wrong but it appeared that way to me so okay. All systems are ready but like twins crash bandicoot 1 and twin sanity are not like that opened up the odds in our favor Okay, so now we're gonna, you know, we'll actually enter the me, because uh, Cra again, Crash doesn't talk. So okay, so now we'll probably see the loading screen with Crash in it, and and hopefully, like, this will be the only time. Yeah, see, there he is. Now he's in there. Um, this will be the only time I show this to you. I promise. Um, at least show it to you in full. You might see the, again a little bit of the beginning and a little bit of the end to fly through from here. Uh, because it's easy to do quick edits like that than to find the exact frame where things stop. It just saved me a little time. So, I, I mean, I don't... Not that I guess, I mean... Well, no, I mean, saving time's always good. So, yeah, so look at how... Look at this. You, and you see this thing, seriously. Like, you see this, like, Crash you know... Bandicoot, my old twice nemesis. a level, and... How the heck are you? Still gathering crystals? Old and, uh, time. and yeah, Cor Cortex... By the time you get to, like, I Twin Sanity, which is a little later than this in the games, Meet like, Crash, Crash and Cortex are kind of frenemies. Like, they've become kind of reluctant oh friends um this is the creature who keeps sabotaging your master plan <laughs> yeah so and this kidding I'll exterminate you've got to be kidding me no no uh well we'll now see buddy crunch. we'll your see time with crash will come soon enough isn't he so yeah so um well we got to see the format before we explain it i'm just going to kind of wrap up this introduction stuff in these kind of run through oh well we uh kind of scenes and then you know and then we'll get into actually talking about the game uh, but this is our base. This is our kind of main area. And um, obviously our pause screen. And then you'll see that there are gems we can collect. There's 46 of them in the game, apparently. Uh, there's relics. There's 30 of those. Um, and there's crystals. And there's 25 of those because there's 25 levels. And then there's a space for powers because every time you defeat every five levels, you get a new power. Um, but we're going to wrap it up there. And uh, when I come back, we'll play some games.